We're going to welcome in our friend Patty Corella now of Corella Productions. Uh, she's here to talk about the Princess Ball with high tea. Hi, Patty. Hi. Great this, to see you. You too. Last time you were in, you were talking about your Barbie Day, yes. which was a huge smashing yes, success. Yes. I love yes, the pictures was. of all the little girls there at the table doing all their little activities. So cute. And so now you're following it up with the Princess Ball. Yes. What's this going to include? So this will be a high tea, first of all, um, at the Sheridan, mm -hmm. two to five October 1st. The girls will, girls and boys, because we'll also have princes there, sure. not just princesses. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to see all of their favorite characters that they've maybe seen um, in movies and on TV. And they'll have an opportunity to experience classic high tea, mm -hmm. chocolate fountain and all of the food that goes along with high tea, uh, entertainment by the princesses, princess parade, Bippity Boppity Boo Boutique, where you can buy little things. <laughs> uh, the Fairy Godmother's Hair Salon. Um, yeah. That's terrific. Is yes. that Jeannie Santos, our friend Jeannie, of doing course. the hair salon? I love of it. Of course. So, how, why are these things so such a big hit? Obviously, I mean, everything that you do, especially concerning the children and having these fun events, I mean, they sell out so quickly. People are just jonesing for this. I, I think so, yeah. And I think these sort of things existed you know back in the day some years ago but yeah. since covid there have been limited things to do with kids true and parents want activities for their children yeah what what now what's the going princess what do you think will get the most enthusiasm i think the um princesses that are in um um um, um I, can i say that you know anna and elsa yeah, sure. Frozen. Okay. Frozen. From yeah. Frozen, sure. Yeah. Okay. So I think those are still really popular. Yeah. And actually, my daughter just said to me, Mom, do little kids know Snow White anymore? And Cinderella. And yeah. yeah. But I, I yeah. think they still do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But so those are have, the more popular, yeah. for so sure. So we have 10 well-known, especially to us, princesses. That's terrific. Yeah. Local actors, I'm assuming. Absolutely. Yeah, they Absolutely. come in and do it. Um, any, any, <laughs> this, I don't want this to sound wrong. Any table manners being taught at this? Uh, yes. Yes, I would yes. think with high tea, it's just a great opportunity to teach the finer things in life, Etiquette right? Etiquette is absolutely part of the day. Yeah. I failed to mention that. That's yes. terrific, though. Yeah. And maybe that's why everybody's signing up their kids. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because we, we don't do it at home anymore yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah right. that's so much fun. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to uh, with this one coming up? This isn't even until October. October right? 1st, mm -hmm. one month away. And might I add, we're almost sold out. I know. So I think that my friends at the Sheridan can probably make room for another couple of tables. Yeah. But... So when the parents sign their kids up for this and, and bring them, where do the, what do the parents do? Is it a drop-off? Do they it, hang back? Do they watch? What it's happens? It's not a drop-off. Like I mentioned, here's what I'm really proud about for this event. It's not peanut butter and jelly and chicken fingers. Mm -hmm. It is traditional high tea with pedophores, uh, finger sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is, is miniature. It's not going to be a buffet. It's going to be um, stations mm -hmm. with tiered trays and fine linens and china and all of those special elements that make it really classic and you know a really lovely event yeah and parents are part of it they're okay. going to enjoy the event as much as the children in addition to all of the things i mentioned we'll also have basket raffles um, auction items special things for the parents and the children. Okay, that's terrific. I just think that it's so much fun. Uh, there's the details for you again. It's at the Sheridan Erie Bayfront Hotel. You can go to uh, Patty's website and it'll send you to a link there to buy your tickets uh, if you like. Again, Sunday, October 1st from 2 to 5 p.m. Tickets are going fast. There's just a handful left. So if this is something you'd like to do, uh, be sure to get right on that. Absolutely. Yeah, Patty, it's always fun talking to you. You've got the best ideas in Erie. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs>